30 laps of All-Star Thunder coming your way right here, right now. One lap signal has been given at the stand. It's Speed Week. Their first appearance at Limerland, Joey Saldana and Todd Kane in row one, Charlie Fisher and Kelly Kinzer from row two, Kaufman, Liber, Smith, Jacobs, Keegan, and Kemenaw. Saldana gets the whole shot off turn four and will carry Fisher and Kane back to three and four. There's the race for second. It's Kane and Fisher wheel to wheel off turn four. Back in one and two, Saldana showing the way, but good racing here. Kane and Fisher are stacked up double wide in three and four. Off turn four, that's Todd Kane in the yellow car. Out of pond, Joey's in trouble. Our leader, Joey Saldana, is slow down the front stretch. Check that there. The black car, the 77 of Joey, has a flat right rear tire. Saldana must have skipped the cushion in turn four and slugged the wall. Can you believe it? Wow. Off turn four, Todd Kane, your leader, after Fisher got loose on the start. Check it. Kane now beginning to stretch it out. There's Kinzer and the 48 of Fisher. Keith Kaufman running fourth. Picking it up off turn four. There's your leader, Todd Kane, the 8H out of Powell, Ohio. Been a long time since he's recorded an all-star feature win. Maybe tonight in the Junior Holbrook entry, the 8H, that's a Schnee chassis, and working well, working the outer cushion here tonight. And I'll tell you what, Kane is beginning to check out already a 10-car advantage over the second-place runner there of Kelly Kinzer, the 4K car. Followed further back, Keith Kaufman coming on now, the Conwest Freight System Maxim. Kaufman in the red one car, running third. Then it's Charlie Fisher, the 48 car, beginning to fade a bit. But I'll tell you what, Kane is beginning to check out in the 8H car. That's the race for second, third, and fourth. It's a pretty good one for now. Kelly Kinzer showing the way. Kelly Kinzer out of Bloomington, Indiana. He was our quick timer tonight, the 4K car stealth chassis. He is the cousin of 14-time World of Outlaw champ Steve Kinzer. And I'll tell you what, Todd Kane had been checking out, but it appears that Kinzer may be reeling in our leader there. Todd Kane, our leader, just slugged the wall, taking on turn three there. Kane, that won't help. Kane is definitely losing the advantage, and Kinzer is definitely reeling in our leader as our leaders are now looking at traffic just ahead. It's still Todd Kane. There's the advantage between the front runners off turn four. Now Kinzer takes his white stealth on the bottom looking for racing room there checking it back in one and two now yep yeah, there we are a battle for the lead todd kane with kelly kinzer in tow neither of these drivers have won an all-star feature in some time off turn four kinzer working well on the bottom kane takes the junior holbrook entry back three wide in one and two trying to get by the 60 of jason dukes dukes is one lap down and now kane beginning to run away again kane Really looking tough here tonight, or is he? Kinzer jumps right back to challenge and looks inside of Kane in one and two. It's still Kane and Kinzer stacked up back to three and four with Kaufman, Fisher, and Jacobs in tow your top five. Our leaders are wheel to wheel. Kinzer puts a wheel and now more than that alongside inside. We've got a new leader off turn number two. Kelly Kinzer puts the move on Todd Kane who jumps back to challenge in three and four there side by side. Kinzer working the bottom and here comes Keith Kaufman. Keith Kaufman is coming in the one red. There's the first two cars and Kane jumps right back to challenge on the cushion. Great racing here off turn four. There's Kinzer working inside the 84 car. That's Jimmy Stinson, but you see a red car poking into the picture there. That's Mifflin Town, Pennsylvania's Keith Kaufman, who's looking for racing room up front. So is Todd Kane and looks outside of our leader off turn four. Kinzer still shows the way, and this is really getting good as our leaders thunder their way through lap traffic. What a race. Kinzer still working the bottom. Kane still likes it up against the cushion. And there's the red car. Yeah, Keith Kaufman is coming, and coming in a hurry. The one car, Keith Kaufman, out of Mifflin Town, Pennsylvania. 
car owned by Jim Wally, Wally Motorsports. He is a defending, or make that a former track champion in Pennsylvania at Port Royal, Susquehanna, Williams Grove, and Hagerstown too, as Kaufman puts the move on Kane for second. Back in three and four, off turn four. Now, our front runners all working the bottom end. Check it in three and make that one and two. Our leaders are still stacked up. Kinzer showing the way for now. There's our second and third place cars. Kaufman trying desperately to get by the 8H of Todd Kane, who has now given up the outside cushion to make it work on the bottom. He feels he needs to go there to protect that spot. Great racing. Our leaders have been stacked up for the entire distance. We're still under green. They'll be working lap traffic here shortly. In fact, they'll do it now. Kinzer looking inside of another car, number four. That's Bobby Davis Jr., the red four. We talked to Bobby Davis earlier on in the evening. Let's go down and meet him while we're there. Bobby Davis Jr., the 1989 World of Outlaw champ. Standing with Bobby Davis Jr., the 1989 World of Outlaw champion. Bobby, your first visit to Limeland, what do you think so far? Well, uh, you know, the racetrack looks pretty good right now. We haven't been out on it yet, so uh, that'll tell us a little bit more about what we need to do later on. Now, you come all the way from Memphis, Tennessee. What are you doing this year? Well, we're just kind of racing around everywhere. We run some all-star races, some world outlaw races. Uh, we like to go where they race a lot, where we don't have to, you know, just run our guts out traveling around the world. So, uh, you know, this has been a pretty good week for us to do this. Kind of running out your guts this week as well. I know seven nights in a row, that's pretty stressful on not only you, but the crew as well. Yeah, uh, you know, it's hard on all, everybody, really. Uh, you know, we run from one end of the state, and uh, uh, whoever was throwing the darts this year kind of threw them wrong. And, uh, you know, they could maybe get it a little better where where we didn't have to go from one end of the state to the other in one night. A high bank quarter mile clay oval, your kind of racetrack? Uh, we like them all. Uh, you know, we feel like we need to be good at the quarter miles, three-eighths or halves, and. Uh, you know, we'll give it our best shot tonight. Glad you're here. Good luck. Okay, thank you. That's Bobby Davis Jr. all the way from Memphis, Tennessee.